the fairy circles of Namibia, what if the earth itself is breathing? In the arid grasslands of Namibia, the land is covered in perfect, barren circles, as if a giant walked here, pressing its fingertips into the dust. Scientists debate the cause. Are they termites nesting below? Are plants competing for water? But these explanations feel small. The circles are too perfect, too orderly. They form patterns that seem to shift when you're not looking, a vast geometric code written on the desert floor. The local Himba people have known the truth for centuries. They say the circles are the footprints of the gods, or they are patches of land breathed on by a subterranean dragon, its fiery breath scorching the earth from below. This is not a scientific anomaly. It is a mythological landscape. Stand at the edge of one of these perfect, empty rings. The red soil is barren, while the grass around it is lush and green. It feels like a doorway, a void. Place your hand on the ground. It's not just warm from the sun. It pulses with a faint, dry heat like the slow, sleeping heartbeat of the planet. What if the fairy circles are not a symptom of life, but a reaction to it? What if the Earth itself is allergic to certain energies, and these are the hives it breaks out in? They are not scars, they are pores, and something deep beneath the sand is. Exhaling, you are not looking at a puzzle of ecology. You are looking at the skin of a living, dreaming world, and the patterns you see are its dreams made visible.